Discounting. I want to show you, firstly, discounting is the most common difference agencies use to stand out against others and win the business. It is a point of difference, and it's the most common point of difference out there. Most people like to use it. It's the easiest to use, but also it is the easiest to copy. That's the problem. A good point of difference needs to be hard. It needs to be trained or invested and worked in. The harder the point of difference, the more your competitors will never get onto it because it takes effort. If it's like a typical agency where the boss spends 99.99% .99 of his time focusing on sales, that means property management is nothing better than just survival mode, he will never invest, never ever. Never would he give any mindset towards it, nothing. So the harder your point of difference, the more safer you are and the more it's gonna be with you for a very long time and the more mileage that you're gonna get out of it. What I wanna show you, however, is if you choose discounting, it is the most expensive point of difference. In fact, I haven't actually put discounting in as one of the 38 points of difference. Is that okay? Because it's the worst kind. In fact, out of all the 38 points of difference, I cannot think of one of those I'm gonna to present to you that is more expensive than discounting. Discounting is the most costliest point of difference out there, and yet everybody goes to it like you wouldn't believe. And if I came up with a point of difference that cost as much as what discounting does, and I'm about to show you the numbers, you would go, I'm crazy. You can't charge that for a point of difference, but everybody runs to it. So let's have a look. Let's just say the rent was $400 a week, and I know that your rents are higher than that here. Let's say they start at 600, okay? But let's say it was 400. And 1% of that is $4, times that by 52 weeks, that equals $208. Do you see that? So 1% of 400 is $4. Times that by 52 weeks, that is $208. Let's just say we keep the management, we keep the relationship with the owner for say five years. Is that okay? To say five years? And in that case now, that cost of that 1% is going to be over $1,000. Now this is on 400 bucks a week. We're not even talking Sydney rents. So yours would be a lot higher than that. And let's say that you sign up 30 managements in a year, I would think a reasonable agency should be able to do that at least. Well, that point of inference is now cost $31,200. I can't present to you another point of difference today more expensive than that. Your points of difference have got to mean something to the prospective owner at that time. So, for example, if we said to the owner, hey, if you come over with us, we're gonna hand deliver to you or courier deliver to you your monthly statements printed on gold paper. Who cares? They don't care. So though that might be a way to try and stand out with pretty gold paper, they don't care about it at that point in time. Alrighty, so you've got to make sure that when you present your points of difference, it actually means something to them at that point in time when they're signing the new management. It might mean something to them three years down the track, but we're worried about right now before they sign. There are three key hot buttons that mean something the most to most owners at this point in time. And what we're doing here is we're actually assuming that it's an empty property and they're gonna need a new tenant. Because that's mostly what we deal with, isn't it? Sometimes we're getting inherited tenants and all of that sort of thing. But this is in that situation, they've just bought a property, they've got an empty property, or their tenants just moved out. So what they care about at this time is best rent, best tenant in the quickest possible time. And so if you can get your points of difference to surround and tap into those one, two or three things, you're likely gonna get noticed, stand out as adding more value than your competitors. A lot of my points of difference today are gonna to tap into one, two or three of those things. Some of them won't, but you've just gotta know your points of difference in general, at least one or two, gotta to gravitate towards that. But it is how you promote the point of difference that determines its effectiveness. For example, the Rockend 24-7 portal that owners and tenants can access documents. And I'm not here today to go into detail. I've got some screenshots coming up. Who's on Rockend? Okay, well done. And yet your competitors would also have Rockend and everybody's got access to the portal. 
It doesn't mean that everybody has switched it on, and it certainly doesn't mean they're promoting it as a point of difference. So you could, as one agency in the area, be surrounded by six other competitors that also have the rock end portal, and you're the one that gets the business because they think you're the only one with it, because you're the only one that talked about it and promoted it. So he's got to understand it's not about what you're lacking, it's how you actually promote it and the perception. All right, also understand it's all about winning by just a little bit. Because to win a horse race, you only need to win by a little bit. Now, some years ago, the Melbourne Cup, do you remember that horse race? And it was like some teeny tiny little, little amount that that horse got over the line. You remember that? Even the photo finish, you couldn't actually tell. I think they had to go and measure the winner by millimeters. It was that close. Now, when it comes to Melbourne Cup, what's the prize for the winner, number one? Someone tell me, how much is it approximately? John, do you know? I thought it was three million. A lot of money? Yeah. yeah. What about the number two person? What do they win? No, they get something. They get something. But it's not like, okay, you lose by two centimeters, but now you get to 2,990,598. It's not like that, is it? It may be under 500,000 or something like that. You see, that example I've just given you is a very, very bad example, and it doesn't relate to you guys. Because in real estate, if you come in second, you get nothing, zero. There is no second price. But if you win by that much, you get 100%. So it's not about winning by miles, you just gotta win by a few centimeters. What I'm saying, it is not hard. It's not hard to stand out just to get that little bit of edge to now get your price. Here is a script that a lot of these points of difference can work for you. And this is what I like to teach. Now, you've got to understand as part of your listing presentation, for this to work, you must have already demonstrated your points of difference one, two, or three points of difference. You've assessed the need, you've listened to their problem, their pain, they said, hey, look, I'm scared of getting the tenant from hell. Oh, okay, so let's talk about EBM landlord insurance and the importance of having that and don't get caught up with the banks, for example. Oh, we're gonna talk about checking them on NTD and ticker, and here's our thorough process and, you know, and our zero tolerance rent control and whatever those points of difference are. So you've gotta already have demonstrated those. But then if they turn around and say, but if you can match your fee with the other agent down the road, we'll go with you. Now you've got some leverage. But if you haven't already presented your points of difference, what I'm about to say won't work for you. So you can turn around and say, look, Mr. Owner, firstly, can I just confirm that you want to use us? Is it all just about price? Yes. Okay. So if it's just about price, you would like us to match the fee with the other agent down the road. If you feel that you want us priced the same as the other agent, is it because you feel that we offer exactly the same as the other agent as well in regards to our services? Can I confirm that? And hopefully that's a loaded question because you want yes. Mr. Owner, can I just go back to our points of difference? For example, here is our property owner's handbook. Here is our second and third point of difference. We've already demonstrated these to you. We've shown you how they can add value to you. I'm assuming the other agent also showed you their property owner's handbook. Second point of difference, third point of difference. You see where I've come in? Obviously not. And the owner said, no, actually they didn't. And that's why, Mr. Owner, we feel that we offer that bit of extra value. And therefore, that's why we're, we cost that 1% more. And by the way, Mr. Owner, did you know that 1%, you know what it really is? It's just a cup of coffee a week. We're talking 4 or $5. 1% difference between us and the other agent, didn't you know that? So then suddenly, we're allowing them to see that it's really not that much money to get a better agent with more value. So that particular script works in there, provided you've already loaded in your points of difference.